Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. I want to thank you all for being here on my platform. Um, I'm very uh, humbled by all your love and support that you have been giving me since I'm here. I want to also thank all of you for uh, all the donations. Those are our cross-watching. Thank you so much. It really helps me to stay alive on this platform. And um, what else can I say to you? Okay, for those of you that um, want to follow me on Facebook or follow me on Instagram or just donate on the front page of my YouTube channel on the right top right hand corner, I have the icons there. Okay, and underneath the video, you'll see the weekly schedule for the weeklies. I will not be taking any more personal one-on-one -on -one readings anymore uh, because I am booked till September of 2019. And after that, I'm going on a sabbatical leave. Yes, a sabbatical leave from doing one-on-one -on -one, um, readings. But I'll still be here on the platform to give you readings, okay? So now, um, just remember that my readings are timeless as well. So right now, Pisces, while well, you're here and you're watching me, this will resonate with you. And those of you that come in in a week or two weeks from now, even a month from now, it will resonate with you, okay? And if I see any uh, further predictions, I will tell you... Uh, what I see in the further predictions. And then you could come out, come back and tell me in the comments if this happened to you or not. I just saw one, two, three right now. Okay, so let's get started. First, I have my singing bowl. You know the procedure. Okay, why I do this is that I want you to relax while you're watching my video, <laughs> number one. And number two uh, also is that um, I want, it, it, it's gonna clear my space, my energy in your, in your space and your energy at the same time, okay? So um, I'm just gonna change my lighting. Here we go, because it's too bright for me. So let's go for uh, count number one. Take a deep breath in and exhale. I think that's right. Okay, that's perfect. Here we go. Now, in front of me, I have four oracle cards. A lot of you have been saying, oh, Patricia, you know, uh, we missed the pick a card, pick the crystal. So, okay, I decided to take out four. Okay, so um, you could choose by crystal or you could choose by card. So the first one is Ask Angels, card number one with the rose quartz. Crystal Angels, number two, with the Rainbow Fluorite. Archangel Michael, deck number three. Obsidian. And deck number four, Lover's Oracle. Lover's Oracle. And that's with the Selenite Tower. You could choose, like I said, by card. You could choose by crystal. And if you don't want to choose by none of that and you want to go with your intuition, then go right ahead. Okay. And I also took out a Jesus card because this week is a really tough week for everybody. And there's a message there for you. And I just saw 333. Okay, now let's get started with your reading. First, I'm going to take out my Italian cards. A lot of you have been asking me, what's your my nationality? My nationality is that I'm Italian. Okay, so at least you know that I'm Italian because a lot of people have been asking me. So let's see what's going on for you. I feel a lot of you are connecting with someone very special, but I feel that there's a lot of like, um, there's something that's not like, there's, it's fiery, uh, cloudy. Uh, I don't know what I'm picking up here. I mean, there's a connection, 100%, okay? There is a connection, but it's not, it's like, there's, it's not clear yet, completely clear at this moment, okay? Uh, I feel that you're going to be getting an important phone call, email, or text message, or even a letter. Okay, it's uh, and I feel it has to do with some kind of precious jewels, or it's something from the family. It's like, it's like uh, you know, like um, someone from the family. Like, it's been in the family heirloom for a long time here. 
I also see here for some of you that are have, have connections on, uh, let's say online, or you're talking to someone that you met online, or something like. There's a connection here. Uh, I I see that this person, there's someone that you're dealing with. Well, okay, that is not for your highest good here. Okay, there's some kind of enemy that's happening here. I feel that this person that you're gonna be getting like a um, a jewel from, okay, or some kind of heirloom does not live like in the same place where you live they live very far like maybe rome greece morocco like somewhere far it's really far military and I, I feel this lady or she never got married or uh she's a widower okay and uh yeah and she's gonna be giving you a quick message there is a message coming in 100 percent for you okay I see them 1971, 1978, very strong here. A lot of you feel stuck in something, okay? Uh, maybe it's your mood. Uh, some of you are not feeling happy. Um, you're feeling sad. You're feeling like you can't move. Maybe some of you don't have money to move or to, like, get out of a situation. A lot of you are daydreaming, Pisces. You are daydreaming. That's what it shows me here about everything. Getting married for some of you or uh, wanting to go on vacation. Um, and you're, you're daydreaming, but at the same time, you're sad, I feel, for some of you. You're feeling stuck where you are. A lot of you don't have the money to uh, maybe uh, go on vacation or uh, there's something about money here. Or getting your stuck. But there is a message that's, that's coming through 100% of you getting money or this jewel the special heirloom that's coming from someone in the family i see that uh, you're happy with um you know you always have a good time with your family and friends over here there is a lover that's available for you uh she might be or he might be uh, a, a man or a woman that has smaller younger children uh, particularly a boy and a girl i see here okay yeah it's like uh it's a very light relationship right now maybe you're just starting up as friends uh i feel here that um at times pisces correct me if i'm wrong but you're not like i feel that at times you're feeling like off you know like meaning like um yeah you have fun with your friends like you know not fun but i'm saying like you know you have a good uh, report with your friends and um but then there's like this thing about you that because you know a lot of you are feeling stuck with money or you're or you're feeling stuck with something or there's a connection that's not taking place and um there's something here that uh, i feel very strongly is that um you're losing hope something like that but there is a message 100 percent because you got la letra and miss Ngeri that are coming in there is something that's coming in for you okay and there is some kind of reunion that's taking place as well <clears throat> there's a <clears throat> there's, there is a reunion that's taking place for you uh this could be with uh, family members that don't live in the same country as you or this could be with a person that you knew in the past but there is some kind of reunion that's taking place number eight of, is very strong in your reading number eight and the letter f so that could be Frank, Francis, Francine, um, Fernando, Fanny, okay, or uh, some kind of like uh, very like I feel like that uh, whoever this person is that you're having a reunion with, whether whether it's a you know a lover, an ex, or someone from your past, someone sending you a message, this they're saying that you could trust this person. Okay, that's what they're showing me is that you could trust this person. Eighty-eight is very strong. Number 40, uh, 88, 87, 89. So 87, 88, 89 is very strong here. 27, 28, 29 as well. Yeah, I feel like you've been going through a lot, Pisces. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this the Gemini season has been really tough on you uh, in the Gemini season for some of you. And I feel that you've been um, hurt 
Uh, some of you are still purging. Some of you are still trying to heal yourselves. But I do have to tell you, so there is good news coming for you. That has to do with money, for you to get out of the situation that you've been feeling stuck. And there is some kind of something special coming for you. And there is some kind of reunion that's taking place. But you have to be careful of someone uh, around you that is not for your highest good, okay? I'm going to ask one more question about this person here. Yeah, this person is wearing a false mask. It is a man. For some of you, this is a man or it's a woman. But there's someone that is wearing a false mask. And you need to be careful with that kind of energy. I'm picking up very strong 1978 here. 55. I don't know what these numbers mean for you. This is someone that is uh, always at home. Doesn't like to go out a lot. Okay. Uh, but... Uh, this is because some of you Pisces are that are single and dating a lot of you. Maybe you're dating a lot of people. Maybe you're talking. Um, uh, you're talking um, to other people. A lot of people. There's someone in your mi mix of friendships, okay, or dating. Like if you're dating, that is not for your highest good, and you have to be careful with that person because that person is your enemy, okay. Let's see what else will be here. We'll go for the, I have another deck here. I already shuffled them, but I'm just going to do a pre-shuffle. What are the messages for you? You have to trust your intuition, Pisces, when it comes to people, especially if you're talking to a lot of people. Not everybody will have you for their highest goods. So just be careful with that, okay? What are the messages? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Look at how you are just waiting. You're not ready to move forward. Because I do believe that there's caring connections for you. See, Pisces, there's caring connections. I just saw 12, 22. Okay, but you're like here. The gate and the garden. This talks about, very simple... Is that you're seeing all the signs you're still feeling bad at times okay which is normal because you're purging right now and the south node in capricorn is releasing anything karmic anyone or anything or any type of behavior anything that is not for your highest good and you're not moving forward in the look at the gate it's not opening and you're not going through you're just waiting but there is caring connections around you i see changes coming for you okay see what else is going on here for you for pisces I do see that people care about you, Pisces. A lot of people care about you. Okay. It's up to you to see what they see in you. You have to see your self-worth. You have to see what you're, who you are. I feel a lot of you are going through anxieties at this time. Especially in the Gemini season. I feel like you're going through a lot of anxieties. You're not sleeping at night. Okay. Um, you're over analyzing, overthinking about things. Uh, that went wrong. Again, I just saw, I see a lot of synchronicity numbers. Uh, I, I just saw 1333 right now. But if you are seeing someone already and you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever the situation is, uh, it's victorious, the relationship. And if you are going to be meeting someone, okay, it's going to be also a victorious relationship as well. This also means that you are going to, uh, that whatever this thing is that you're feeling right now, how you're feeling, okay, it, this will pass. This too shall pass. And that you will be on, on top again, okay? Uh, Pisces, on top again. What are the messages here? For those of you that are meeting someone, I feel someone is gonna be get your someone is gonna get proposed to in the month of June. Okay, if it's not this week, well then it's the week after. But there's something coming in for you, where there's someone here that really cares about you, Pisces. Okay, and there's gonna be a happy, happy, happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy husband, 
rainbow, okay? This is new beginnings, new beginnings, stability that's taking place, new beginnings and finances, new beginnings and love. Okay, beautiful changes are taking place. A lot of you are worried, though. You know, you're worried. For those of you that are already in a couple, I don't see anything wrong here in these three cards that show me. For others of you, there's some, you're, you're contemplating about something. There's some kind of a... Sorry, Pisces, I'm back. So what I was saying is that this garden in the gate, okay, is that I feel some of you are overthinking or overanalyzing a problem. And I really believe this has to do with finances for you, okay? You're feeling constrained uh, with constraints with, with finances. You feel like you don't have enough or you're not going to make enough. And what they're asking you to do is they want you to rest, okay? They want you to meditate. They want you to stop overanalyzing as well. There is possibility for you to to get money coming in, which I do feel that there is something coming in for you that has to do with money or a new, uh, some of you are gonna, are gonna be relocating, okay? Or uh, going back to a place where you used to feel safe and sound is what they're telling me here. Um, it's like you're not making that move to go forward because maybe some of you don't have the money. But the thing is that the way the universe works, uh, Pisces, okay? Is I'll tell you uh, honestly, is that if you feel that you're lacking of and you're always saying, well, I don't have enough money to do this, I don't have enough money to do that, or whatever the case is, the universe will understand that you're saying to them that you don't have enough and they will keep sending you not enough. So what they want you to do is feel that you have enough of money, that you, they want you to feel, I mean, I've, a lot of you want to uh, like say, okay, I want something tangible in my hands to believe. It doesn't work like that. The universe does not work like that. The universe works that you have to already feel that you are um, blessed in finances and everything, money, and finances, money, job, career, uh, love, whatever it is, and it will bring it to you, but you have to change your vibration. You have to vibrate higher, okay? You have to meditate. You have to rest because they're showing me that here you're very exhausted, okay? Uh, a lot of you are reading a lot of books, maybe in self-help or reading books of law of attraction as well. And you're just waiting for something. You're having anxieties here because a lot of you feel tied up. You feel stuck. Okay, but that's all in your mind. You're co-creating something that does not exist. Even though it exists, whatever it is in your mind, you're adding more fuel to it. There is someone here, Taurus, uh, Virgo or Capricorn here, that's coming in to... Um, that's coming in here for you to this is someone that's going to be offering you a job uh money that's coming in this could be love that's coming for you for some of you but there is someone here holding coins <coughs> this, <coughs> excuse me this could happen in the month of july like it could happen now but there is something coming in you're going to get a quick message here you're going to have many possibilities okay many pos you see all these doors haven't you opened all these doors some doors are locked, you can't get through. Some doors have cement, you can't keep knocking at the same door. There's some doors that are open, but you're not interested. You're going through this door here. This is the door you should be going at. But yet, you're always looking at the same doors. You need to walk straight, and this is the door to spirit. That's why spirit wants you to connect with them, okay? Through meditation, through resting, okay? I feel also that your sacral chakra right now is not feeling well. For some of you, this is your creativity side as well okay so i'm gonna put this card upright like that you feel better and so it is this is your second chakra uh, archangel ariel there you go and uh so maybe doing a chakra healing with steve noble or anybody else that you feel is proper there is a completion that's going to take place in your life a place where once things or situations did not work out for you, uh, Pisces, there is a completion of learned lessons and there's a new beginning that's taking place. Others of you, there's, uh, you're going to be going through a spiritual journey, I feel, or you're going to go on a journey, okay? Uh, there is a, there is a path that's going to be light. There's a, the, the angels, the universe are trying to show you this path that you need to go through. And now it's up to you if you have to go through it. Some of you, I feel... Uh, even your throat chakra, you're not, you know, uh, maybe um, you're not talking, you're not expressing yourself in the way that you should be. Maybe you're angry for some of you, frustrated, okay? 
see what else here. There we go. You have the three chakras on the ground. You have your third eye chakra, your root chakra, and your sacral chakra that is right now being upgraded. They want you to rest. That's why maybe some of you are not feeling good. Uh, they want you to rest. They want you to meditate because they are trying to work on you, okay? Uh, just remember to detox uh, as well. Eat a lot of, like, um, example, for your third eye, you could eat a lot of anything that's like uh, blue. So blueberries, blackberries, anything that has blue in, in any vegetable or fruit, eat that. For those of you for the root chakra, okay, uh, this is uh, to unlock your power for to make money, okay? It's also your femininity and your masculinity, but it has to do with you loving yourself. Eat anything that has red, okay, like strawberry, uh, uh, raspberry, anything red cabbage okay in the fruit and vegetables and your sacral which is like an orange so oranges but also doing a detox and doing meditation will help you vibrate higher okay so let's see what else is next for you now we're gonna go take my other deck please comment let me know what if you resonate with this so now we're gonna go with deck number three what are the messages here for Pisces. When I tell you the numbers, if you see the numbers, like the numbers I tell you, that means that some of you are in sync with the universe. If you're seeing these numbers, is that the universe has, is listening to you and you are in sync with them. The ones, the twos, the threes, I'm going to have to do one day uh, soon in September. Um, I will start doing um, videos on explaining the numbers to you. You know, I don't follow the numbers of uh, what they have on Google. You know. So what are the messages for Pisces here? Oops, there's a lot of cards that came out. Here you go, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, there's a, a second chance taking place here for you. There's new beginnings taking place as well. New beginnings and and uh, end of delays okay and a change in direction that will lead that's going to lead you to happiness money coming in i see also second chances here okay that are taking place this is a very lucky card you also got the ace of um of wands here this is something that your kundalini some of you are going to go through a kundalini or um i i, I forgot the name what what i want to say hold on a second it will come <laughs> when, but a kundalini, uh, kundalini uh, meaning um, this is like for all the sh for all the chakras, but not only for all the chakras, but kundalini arising is what it is here. Okay, because all of you have been working on yourselves. I could see that, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna feel like rejuvenated reju again. You're gonna feel great again. You're gonna feel on fire, uh, a lot of passion, a lot of love here. A gift of passion and opportunities, okay, that are coming for you. A chance to do something amazing and a sense of wonder that's gonna take place in your life. Some of you are going back to the mountains, where there's a beautiful river that falls. Okay, mountains. I see. Um, a knight of Ariel. A knight of Ariel talks about pentacles. So this is someone that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yes, they're slow moving. Moving. This could be a, a, a love that's coming in for you or an opportunity, a promotion, or someone that's coming in to bring you money. Okay, I see that. Okay, promotion. And they're saying there's so much to accomplish. This person can be very trustworthy, understanding. They're very devoted and funny. Um, and they are. you're being watched over being watched over someone that's really kind there is a new beginning in finances that are taking place for you in finances okay you got the 10 of ariel the 10 of ariel talks about the 10 of pentacles there's very much to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement over here and a rich and rewarding family life and right now a lot of you are reevaluating everything in your life maybe your pentacles you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest to come because it's coming, okay? There's going to be an amount, a, a great amount of um, activity and um, uh, messages coming in for you uh, and sudden changes that are going to be taking place and Im you're going to have immediate results. Important, important communication coming in for you. Uh, 
they're asking you to make a wish, okay? Because your dreams will become true, okay? You've been wishing on this for a long time. And it's going to be a very jo joyful time for you, okay? Again, they're asking you to meditate, to rest. You need time out, okay? Some of you are losing weight very quickly uh, because of the stress you've been going through. Uh, you have to take a leap of faith. Yes, a leap of faith is that you go first and watch the angels and the universe catch you, okay? Believe, they want you to believe in yourself because there's something coming in for you. Listen to your art because do what gives you, what brings you joy. And you, again, you got the world card, okay? The world card, again, talks about a very happy ending, coming full circle, so, sorry, coming full circle. And I'm just going to drink something very quickly, sorry. Okay, coming full circle. And a lot of you are going to be going through a spiritual growth and a lot of insights through meditation. That's why they're very, they're asking you to meditate and to rest, okay? Um, you've got the six of pentacles. Whatever you give, you're going to be receiving. Some of you uh, are dealing with a, like I said, could be you're dealing with a, uh, you know, water energy, earth energy, fire energy. It doesn't matter. You don't say to me, Patisa, I feel like you're talking to me when you're doing the reading. Well, I am talking to you. <laughs> That's the thing. I am talking to you. I'm talking to your soul, to all of you, okay? Some of you, those of you that will resonate with this will understand because you'll feel it, feel it in your heart chakra that I'm talking to you, and you'll know that that is what is true, okay? Uh, they're also saying your material needs will get fulfilled, and uh, magical and unexpected things will come your way, Pisces. Uh, acts of kindness coming in because you've been kind to other people is coming back to you but they're asking you to rest and asking you to go to nature near water if that's the case whatever the case is uh insights that come from quiet meditation and the need to for more sleep okay and uh get away from people that have uh, that are causing you drama and stress you got the four of ariel too that's the four of pentacles stability here a lot of like pentacles here a lot okay that means stability what you give, you will receive. Being, uh, some of you are being, res maybe some of you don't want to, res are resisting to change. And some of you need to budget yourself here. But it's a very, you got already uh, very good cards here. I could see. Let's see what's underneath the deck. You got the moon card. Here, Pisces, this is your card. You came into your own reading. Some of you have, are having anxiety and fears. Maybe it's this this, uh, this uh, full moon and all the planets are in retrograde right now, uh, but it's it's an opportunity to to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition because it's very accurate. They say, and face your fears and grow stronger. Okay, uh, maybe you're dealing with someone else that has uh, that is another Pisces here. You have one, two, three, four major Akarna cards. Four talks about stability. Okay, so. Um, Congratulations for those that are maybe already experienced this or are going to be experiencing this. Now I'm going to take my final cards here. Hold on. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's take your final cards, Pisces. Let's shuffle them just one more time. Let's see what's going on for you. I feel like a lot of you are just daydreaming. You're in your... You like to daydream. It's okay to daydream. But you, I want you to stay connected to Mother Gaia. I want you to ground yourself. Steve Noble has amazing, amazing, amazing meditations and affirmations. It's, he's really amazing. So now, <clears throat> let's go into your fourth reading. Yep, this is how you're feeling, Pisces this look at this card you're feeling down you're looking at the things that went wrong in your life and you're not looking at the blessings situations and people around you i see here virgo capricorn or taurus here very strong this could be someone coming in to help you someone that cares about you father figure maybe like a, a someone that is very close i feel to you a kindred soul is coming in or this is someone that's coming in for a promotion, business. They're going to help you with money. But there's something coming in very strong because I saw it in all the readings. Again, you've got completion, learned lessons, end of delays, new beginnings taking place, travel. Okay? This is very good. 
some of you are not being pulled into different directions. You're being pulled just in one direction is what I feel. I feel some of you gave up. Do not give up. A lot of you, this has to do with completion of a home. Maybe buying a home for some of you. Completion of a home. This is the 1111. Um, also, there's a happiness in the home. This could be marriage too, you know, or living with someone or something. Because it, it could also be marriage for some of you, okay? Um, st stability back in your home. You need to rest is what I'm... <laughs> they keep telling me here. There's a delay right now if it comes with... If, there's a delay right now if it comes to your finances, Pisces. It's just because Mercury is going uh, retrograde soon and we are in the shadow side. But the delay will be over soon, okay? It will be over soon. Because there's also a new beginning in love as well for you. This is my marriage marriage commitment. Something's coming through here for you. Very strong. You're happy. There's a sense of happiness here. Again, the moon card. You came through again. Or you're dealing with another Pisces, or this is you, okay? Anxiety, fears, going through this passage. Number 11, 1111, very strong here. Divine timing is here for you. You do have divine timing here. Divine timing means you've been seeing the signs, you know what's going on, you know something is coming for you. And uh, again, here, he's here. You know something is coming in for you. This could be finance, like finances, I got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is an energy of you and another person. Maybe you have Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in your rising, your moon sign, in your Venus. There's something very strong here with finances coming in for you. Stability, stability in a home. Maybe buying a home, okay? But I see also someone's thinking about proposing to someone else here. And divine timing means while you're sleeping, doing your things, the, 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 the opening doors or closing doors for the, the perfect divine timing. For, Imperfect timing is what I see here. Why is the Five of Cups here? I want to see why the Five of Cups is here for you. Why is the Five of Cups here for you? A lot of you are independent, taking care of yourself. You're going through a transition. Sorry, here you go. You're going through a transition from the dark to the light. Okay, there's a transition you're going through. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or uh, Aries here. But someone's coming back humbled, is what I'm picking up, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But someone's coming back humbled here. Okay, there's a decision that has to be made. <clears throat> you have to make a decision. You have to use your logic over your emotions. That's what you have to do. You have to use your logic because there is a friendship here for you. Okay, some kind of friendship that's coming in. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or you are you are want, willing to give friendship to someone, but there's a decision that has to be made. Some of you have to let go of your past. I see an ace of pentacles. There's money coming your way. Gift, promotion, <clears throat> higher pay, promotion, another job, another project. Or this is the divine coming in, bringing you money. Okay, I do see that. Why is the king and the queen of pentacles here? What does this have to do with? Well, you need to trust yourself. You need to trust yourself. You are a high priest or a high priestess. You're an old soul, Pisces, you know. Pisces, <clears throat> I love Pisces. I have many Pisces around me. You know, I have my daughter that's a Pisces. I have a few friends that are Pisces. You, you know, you're old souls. You have all your um, information here. Uh, for information, when I say about information, I'm saying you have like, um, uh, sorry, uh, like let me just, uh, you're an old soul that has everything available within you, okay? Okay. Um, from ancestors, the stars talk to you, the planets talk to you, your ancestors, your guides, your higher self. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge and you've been here very many, many, many times. Okay, so you know something is coming for you. Okay, maybe some of you um, are even seeking help from a psychic or a medium or some of you are psychic and mediums that are here. 
okay? You're going to be moving forward because you've been seeing all the signs. You're moving forward, but this time you're moving forward with conviction. Others of you, you're dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or it's because we, right now we're still in the Gemini season. This is you as well. Maybe you're not going to be, you're going to be retaliating for some people. I feel that there's some kind of transformation because of this card here. Well, you'll know what the reading means for you. Why is, why is the Ten of Cups here with the Four of Wands? Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Four of Wands? Please show me. I do see someone coming in. Again, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. What is this all about? Yep, someone's coming in to help you financially with an idea that you have, Pisces. You've been working hard. You're going to you start to make money put aside. But there is a relationship that's going to bring you stability or some kind of job or you're going to be teaching others. But there's something very strong here for you. And one more card for Pisces. <laughs> it's a soulmate connection that's coming in. Two people wanting the same thing. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But there is a relationship here. here. And remember I was saying number eight was important in your reading? Well, it's the infinity sign that's very important here. Some of you are dealing also with a twin flame. Now, the twin flame uh, journey is very long. And I do have to tell you something about the twin flame. Okay, now... Uh, when you become whole and you healed yourself, Pisces, completely, and you become whole, you become your own twin. And then your twin is going to become also whole. And then they, when you guys get together, you're going to add on to the relationship, the sacred union. Okay? You don't want to go back to someone or have someone back, especially if they hurt you. Okay? Because then you're going to still want to... So if there's a separation and a lot of people are not together right now, it's because you need to do the work. You have your own soul soul journey to do you have to do yours they have to do theirs everything right now in the south node in capricorn is being cleared karm kar karmically okay and then after that a lot of twins will get together but like i said you are your own twin flame the journey is to yourself to unconditional love so i just have to say that for some of you that needed to hear that but there is a soulmate energy here as well okay and i see marriage i see commitment very strong or living together buying a home together but it's very strong and please listen to your intuition so now let's go to the oracle cards oracle cards okay first for those of you that asked uh, ask angels with the rose quartz there's a lot of helpful people around you. You just have to ask for help, Pisces, and people will come running to you because everybody loves to be with a Pisces. <laughs> Trust me. There's a lot of people, and you have a lot of help from your entourage. They want you to remain positive. And they're saying from a, a year from now, this could be with a twin flame journey or a sacred union here, but, or this could be with finances, but it's, they're saying here, you'll know, because look at the world card, Okay. But a year from now is what they're saying. I don't know who that is the message for. But it's for someone out there. For those of you that chose deck number two with the rainbow fluorite, you got diamond. Diamond. And it says, value your self-worth. You are God's precious gem. So value your self-worth. You got angelite. Angelite. Spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. Vibrate higher, Pisces. And you got Ruby. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. And so it is. For those of you that chose Archangel Michael, Obsidian, they're asking you to be gentle with yourself. And this is your prayer. Archangel Michael, please guide me in uh, trust, treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. And so it is. Again, positive thoughts create positive thoughts create positive results. Your prayer is divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now. 
I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation, and so it is. Go forward fearlessly. fearlessly. And your prayer is, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thought and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And so it is. For those of you that chose <clears throat> the Tower, Selenite Tower with Lover's Oracle, you will look at the cards. Maybe there's something that will mean something for you. And I will read you what the passage is. <clears throat> It says, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. You need to let go. Again, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And so it is. <clears throat> Next card. It says, only time will tell. Only time will tell. And the next card is, look at the rainbow. Two rainbows in your reading. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want to be. Well, let me reread it again. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And so it is. Last but not least, the Jesus card. Look at it. Sorry for the glare. And your, uh, your message is peace. I leave with you. And my peace I give unto you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. John 14, 27. Here you go. Well, Pisces, thank you for all the love. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Watch it. Come back to watch it again. Let me know if it resonates with you. Just remember, Pisces, you are creating your life. Let go of the past, whatever it is, because beautiful things are coming for you, and I see it. So uh, I'll see you next week, next week at the same time at the same place. Bye.